I'm gonna be completely and totally honest. I had no idea this thing would sound this good. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had a secret? Better yet, what do you think is the best kept secret in the world of guitars and guitar related gear? You see, when I started playing guitar, there was just this newness to everything, right? And with every new piece of gear that I got because of this sense of wonder that I'd never really felt before, it felt like I was the first person to have ever discovered that specific piece of gear. And I remember specifically just the level of excitement I would have in just jamming with friends. And I had this idea in my mind, this just like really weird concept that one day I would be jamming with my friends and they would look at me and they would say, hey Mike, how did you get that tone? And I would be like, oh, that tone right there, that tone right there, that tone that you just heard. Well, actually that tone came from my tube screamer and they would be like, you got it from a tube screamer? As if they had never heard of it before. One of the biggest, most known pieces of gear out there. I just felt like everything was this discovery that everyone needed to know about from my perspective. And I'm sure a lot of guitar players have been there because this is just this new world that you're entering into, especially as a beginner. But as you grow older and you learn more about gear and just like the guitar community in this world, you start to realize when it comes to like the really, really big companies, the Fenders, the Gibsons, the PRSs, whatever it is, most people know what's going on with them and they know like all their different products, they know when they're releasing, there aren't really many secrets left and I think that's why something like a bad monkey pedal can get so big because if you had it before it got big you feel like you were in on this big secret and if you happen to find it once it got big you wanted to know what those secret people were talking about and if we're gonna really talk about secrets there's one thing that's kind of feeling like a secret right now that I don't think should be something that I actively think could revolutionize the guitar world that literally no one is talking about. I've seen like one or two videos on this and I'm genuinely shocked that the internet hasn't composed a million opinions on it yet. But I feel like it is my civic duty to show you what's up. This ladies and gentlemen is a chat breaker from Rev. It's got a blues breaker circuit and it was modeled specifically after a blues breaker pedal. Mike, what in the world makes it so special? Why would this be different from any other overdrive pedal? This pedal was not designed by a human. This pedal was designed by AI. Yes, artificial intelligence. This pedal was designed by ChatGPT. Now, if you don't know anything about ChatGPT, imagine iRobot. Let me give you a real life example. AI is kind of like what the internet was in the 90s. It's kind of this new revolutionary thing that we don't really know what it could be yet. We just know it's in its basic stages. And in the music community, it's been really interesting because I've seen it go as far as like taking a rapper's voice and being able to put specific lyrics over a different backing track from another artist. It's like revolutionary stuff. And it's specifically in the guitar community it's been used for like writing out solos and everyone has their different interpretations when it comes to chat gpt but the idea of like making a specific piece of gear that's almost nonsensically revolutionary and i really haven't seen anyone else do this yet we have to really ask ourselves the question when it comes to gear can ai design something as well as a human being here's how we're going to get this done i'm going to try and make it as simple as possible for what i'm doing right now got the supro head it's going to be going through the ox because i like cab emulation and stuff and the chat breaker is the only pedal that's going to be running through we're just going to see how it sounds i don't know how this is going to go Thank mm -hmm. you. So massive, gigantic spoiler alert, it sounds like a blues breaker pedal. It's one of those things where I don't realize a lot of the time just how high gain a lot of these like pedals can get just because that's not necessarily the way I always use them. But you know, just normal, you go from normal. Then you get this thing going. I'm not necessarily using like a super clean amp, I'm using the Supra, which is pretty dark, but that's just so nice.
<laughs> Especially on the higher gain settings, like this is exactly what I expected a blues breaker to sound like. I think the downside is this pedal might make someone feel like iRobot. Like the robots are taking over and it just starts with guitar pedals, but next they're like taking over the banks. And after they take over the banks, well, it's, it's just all over from there. I'm gonna be completely and totally honest. I had no idea this thing would sound this good. Okay, so that was it. And I think the real question we have to ask ourselves, as always, isn't really just, does it sound good? Because with a lot of these pieces of technology that are trying to like do something different or really try and take like two extra steps into the future, this might sound pretentious, but it becomes more about the implications. And I think one of the craziest parts to all of it is just the amount of time that it actually saved. They said designing the actual circuit for this pedal was incredibly fast compared to how long it usually takes to develop a pedal. The guy Dan over at Rev who actually designed it had never even looked at like a blues breaker circuit before, but because of using ChatGPT as his aid and knowing how to ask it the right questions, they were able to get this thing. Now in doing more research, I was able to find that this wasn't completely, 100% totally designed and made by ChatGPT. They had to cross some T's, dot some I's, just fill in some tiny little other holes. But we really have to ask ourselves a big question of like, what could be next? What else could ChatGPT or whatever next big AI function develop? Will it one day be developing full guitars and then just sending them to a 3D printer or to a builder? Because you think about the way it's being used right now with like solos, like there's so many ways that you could interpret a tab and there's so many different flavorings you could put on it. But when you're doing a piece of gear or a pedal, it's way more strict. So is ChatGPT one day going to take the job of a guitar builder or a luthier or a pedal designer? Like how good can AI get? And is this thing the start of the future? I really wonder why not many people are talking about it. But anyway, that's just a bunch of jargon about what I think. I want to know what you think. Do you think artificial intelligence is the future when it comes to guitar and guitar related gear? In the year 2050, do you think you'll be one of those people who's like, yeah, 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 my Marshall amp was just 3D printed. It'll be here on Saturday once it's teleported. Or do you think that AI will never be able to match classic ingenuity. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It was it was more than a pleasure to check out the chat breaker pedal, especially like since it's not just a piece of gear, it's really like a statement into what the possibilities are when it comes to this technology. If you want to get the chat breaker, know anything more about it, the links are in the description. Make sure to check them out. Like and subscribe if you had a good time and most important of all, like most important, have a fantastic day. The robots are coming. The robots are coming, the robots are coming.